government liberalized the education sector to attract many sector players with schools and institutions to open up. This step was taken by government with the hope to increase education accessibility, especially for all schools going age children. But in spite of all these efforts, education has remained accessible to only a few that have money, especially those that wish to join higher institutions of learning. The country has now over 30 universities, but these have remained accessible to a few evidenced by strikes emerging out of tuition hikes. But to the Prime Minister, Dr. Wakana Rugunda, parents should have no excuse of not taking their children for skill development as government has created all avenues, including UPE and USE programs. You can get a loan in order to be able to complete your studies. Therefore, government is endeavoring, working with other stakeholders to contain the cost of education. According to him, government is now grappling with school completion rates that are still low, leading to skill gaps to supply skilled human resources on the job market. We want now to focus on skills so that when our students leave educational institutions and the universities, they have skills to sell. Instead of roaming the streets of urban areas, we would like them to do something themselves or to be employable somewhere. This as the premier officiated at the 93rd anniversary of St. Henry College Kitovo Massacre, to which the school also honored, excelled brains in the government, including Works and Transport Minister John Biabagambi and General Eli Tumwine.